Please take a moment to pause the video and reread this question before listening on. We have gone ahead and have drawn the two trains that are headed towards one another. They are both traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour and initially they are separated by a distance D of 60 kilometers. And the first question that we need to ask ourselves is as follows. How long will it take the trains to collide? And in order for us to answer that question, one strategy we can adopt is to kind of change the scenario in our minds a little bit. We know the trains are headed towards each other, each with a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. But we can craft a similar scenario in which one train is stationary and the other is traveling towards it at 60 kilometers per hour. And if that's a bit confusing, we're gonna to try to justify that momentarily, but let's first just go ahead and redraw the picture. So now we have the train on the right stationary and the one on the left is heading towards it at 60 kilometers per hour. And you can now ask yourself, well, if that's the case and they're separated by a distance of 60 kilometers, how long is it going to take for this train on the left to smack into the stationary train on the right? Now, maybe you can intuitively see that it would take just one hour because remember this train that's moving 60 kilometers per hour is going to travel 60 kilometers and smack into that train in a time span of one hour. That's what 60 kilometers per hour means. It means it travels 60 kilometers in one hour. Now they happen to be separated by 60 kilometers. So if your numbers are different, then in order to find the time, you could use the equation speed is equal to distance divided by time. And if you multiply both sides of the equation by time to cancel it out on the right hand side, and then divide both sides by V in order to cancel V on the left hand side, you would have time is equal to distance divided by speed. Well, if we plug in our distance of 60 kilometers and our speed of 60 kilometers per hour, then of course you would get one hour. So we know that it's going to take one hour for the trains to collide. If any listeners out there are still confused why it's justifiable to make one train going at 60 and the other one going at zero, well, let's just go back to the original scenario. Let's make the trains moving towards each other at 30 kilometers per hour. Well, it's still gonna take one hour because if we let one pass that left will travel 30 kilometers so half of the distance but the train on the right will also travel 30 kilometers in that one hour and again that's half of the distance and that's when they would collide with one another they each travel 30 for a total distance of 60 and either way we can see that in one hour the trains are going to collide with one another so we now know that the answer to our first question how long will it take the trains to collide excuse me, was one hour. A little glitch in my system there. So now we pose the second question. And that would be, what distance does the bird fly? We know it's going to be flying in a time span of one hour, but what about the distance? Well, the bird was stated to be flying at 60 kilometers per hour. So if one hour has passed, then the bird has flown 60 kilometers. So the answer there is just 60 kilometers for those who want a more quantitative understanding. Again, we can use the equation V is equal to D over T. Just multiply both sides of the equation by the time T so we can cancel it out. We can see that time multiplied by speed is gonna give us distance. So if we take the time of one hour and then we multiply it by the speed of 60 kilometers per hour, then we would get 60 kilometers for the distance that the bird flies. So that is the correct answer to the question. It is 60 kilometers. So again, maybe a take home message of the problem is that you can kind of reframe the problem when two objects are traveling towards one another. If they're traveling towards one another at 30 kilometers per hour, as they did in the original picture, then you can actually just assume one train is stationary and the other train is traveling at the combined speed. So 30 plus 30 would be the 60 kilometers per hour.